Hi everybody, my name is Stephen Conlon and I am a member of the AEC Digital Construction Integration Team here at Pentagon Solutions. And in this short video, I'm going to show you a critical extension of Civil 3D which they brought in for the 2022 version and have made better in 2023, which is the Grading Optimization Tool. Grading a site can be very tedious and monotonous work. Constraints due to time will only allow for one or two options that works for the site and if there is new site constraints added, it would have to be regraded. This is where we would use the grading optimization tool as it will go through a number of iterations with the variables you put in and if there is a new variable added later on down the line, we can rerun the optimization to see the results. This will allow high fidelity data to be produced to use throughout the BIM process of any project. Grading optimization helps design complex grading plans. You can interactively model different grading requirements with the help of grading objects, using grading objects to create drain patterns and to set slope, offset and elevation constraints. Grading optimization then translates grading objects into mathematical constraints and objectives. With the help of mathematical optimization algorithms, the best possible solution for the given model is calculated. You can visually analyze the result, adjust or completely change the grading objects and then rerun the optimization again until a suitable solution is found. Every optimization problem consists of an input. In grading optimization, this is an existing ground surface made up of triangles. The optimization solver will change the surface and after completion, return a new surface. However, we do not want a random surface. From the infinitely different surfaces that the solver can create, the surface that satisfies specific criteria is desired. For example, you may want the surface at any given point to exceed a maximum slope of 33% or 3 in 1 ratio. Restrictions such as this are called constraints. In grading optimization, there are currently three different objectives. They are terrain smoothing, balance cut and fill, and minimize earthwork. Now to go through those, the terrain smoothing minimizes the grade changes among the triangles. So the surface contours become smoother, the solver smoothly grades the surface up from the lower points to higher points. The balance cut and fill minimizes the difference between the net volume of excavation and embankment and a net uh, earthwork volume value. Uh, both values will be entered into the optimization settings dialog. And then the minimize earthwork attempts to keep the excavation and embankment volumes as small as possible. Uh, this objective is not concerned about, the balancing, uh, about balancing these volumes, rather it tries to keep the final surface as close as possible to the original surface. When running the grading optimization tool, you may have to run it a few times as when the optimization tool is solving the grading problem, it may require changing of constraints or settings to allow a feasible option to be created. Depending on if you are looking to minimize earthworks or not, will change how the solver will smooth out the surface and create more contours or try to balance cut and fill throughout the site. Results will then have to be analyzed and from this you can see how much of the site you can use and what amount of fill is needed for the site or if, or if there is a surplus of ground, uh, how much needs to be taken away. The specific system requirements needed for the grading optimization tool are high. Processors needs to be three plus gigahertz memory of 16 RAM, 16 gig of RAM or more, display solutions to 3840 by 2160 on Windows 10 64-bit 
and a disk space and a disk space of at least six gig um, available, not including installation requirements. This level of spec would not be on a generic machine an engineer would use. Therefore, this is where Pentagon can come in and we can do the gradient optimization for you as a customer, send out the results and, and analysis, which would save your, the customer having to buy a, a specific machine to run this tool. This again will allow high fidelity data to be produced to use throughout the BIM process of any projects uh, you may have. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and turn your notifications on to be kept up to date with future videos. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter.